Hello, learners. Uh, welcome again. Uh, a continuation of what you're doing earlier. Remember this uh, block revision model paper two that you're handling. So in our previous class, we handled uh, the first part of the question where we were asked to offer the net present value. You handle the first part of the question where you were asked of the net present value. And that is the question that uh, we were doing. So in our last class, we had uh, prepared, of course, our cash flows. Uh, of to determine the net annual after tax cash flows. After that, we went ahead and uh, work out the concept of uh, or what the examiner wanted us to do, the aspect of NPV, and these are what we did. So uh, the second part of the question, the good examiner expects us to handle our IRR, internal rate of return. This is what our good examiner wants us to handle. Remember, we say that internal rate of return, these are, of course, that discount rate that will equate our NPV to be equal to zero. So, in this case, we say that uh, these are trial and error method. And being a trial and error method, we say that it will be upon us to gaze our values that you're going to use so that uh, we break it down to the point that you're going to get a rate that will equate our NPV to be equal to zero. Again, Mwalimu guided us that uh, you should not struggle that much. The best way that you can always determine your IRR is simply talk about the lower rate that you'd be having because we've said you'll be having two rates plus NPV of the lower rate We are going to take, divide all this by, of course, the difference in our NPV, difference in our NPV, divide that by the differences in our NPV. We multiply all this by the higher rate minus the lower rate. This is the best way that you can always determine your IRR. That is to say, you must have what? You must have two different rates. We've said, in this case, is a trial and error method. So by doing this, we have to gaze. We have to gaze the rate that should, we should use. Another guide here, Molimu told us that uh, anytime you're supposed to gaze this uh, rate, Anytime, whenever you have your first NPV, if your first NPV is positive, the value that you're going to gaze should always be higher than the one that was used to compute your first NPV. If at all your NPV is negative, the rate that you're supposed to gaze should be lower than the one that was used to compute your original NPV. So, in this case, our value was positive NPV. So the rate that we should gaze should be higher than the one that was used to compute our original NPV. That's something very important that we need to be able to understand always. So that is to say, at this point, with a lot of confidence, we prepare our NPV of a rate that you're going to select. So I'm erasing this area here. So we select the NPV with a different rate. Our cash flow will just remain to be the same, where we are having, of course, the period here, year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Our cash flows will not change. We are 2,000. Mm -hmm. 2,900, uh-huh, we had 3380, we had 1397.5, and we had negative 157.5. Present value interest factor, we take any rate that is above any rate that is above what? Any rate that is above 9%. You can take any rate. Any rate that is above that. 10, 20, 
15, anything that's above 9%, okay? So assuming we take 15%, assuming we take 15%, what will we be having in this context? I need to determine, of course, 1 plus 0 0.15 raised power negative n. Raised power negative n. So therefore, we're going to take the first case. <coughs> I'll be having 1.15 raised to power 1, negative 1, to give us a value of what? 0 0.869, uh, of course, 6. Uh -huh. Once you've done that, just remember the shortcut that Molimu guided us. There's no need of us repeating all this all over again. All you need to do, whatever that I've determined on the first case, I need to divide this one by 1 plus R. So that the second year, I'll just be taking my answer, divide by 1.15. Mm -hmm. So that I'll be having 0 0.7561. After doing that, the rest of the item, I just do it. I just click equal sign. Tap, tap, you just tap, right? So we get uh, 0 0.6575. Tap, 0 0.5718. Tap, 0 0.4972. See? Once you have determined that, then our present value, we should be talking of 2,000 by 0.8696 to give us 1739.2, by 0 0.7561 to give us 2192.69. We have, of course, uh, 3380 by 0 0.6575 to give us a triple two, 2, 2.35, 3097.5 by 0 0.5718, point, point one five, negative 157.5. Negative 157.5 by 0 0.4972 to give us 78.31 negative. So what will we be having if we sum it up? Total present value 1739.2. Point six nine triple two point three five seventeen seventy one point one five plus negative seventy eight point three one. Mm -hmm. So Molimu is getting here seventy eight forty seven point zero eight being the present value. Of our cash flows, present value for cash flows, mm -hmm. you can confirm that is what Molimu is getting. That is what Molimu is getting. Can you confirm on your end? Mm -hmm. So once we have that, we have our initial outlay. Initial outlay will not change. Initial outlay. We are talking of what? 8,000. So that is to say, at this point, my NPV, we are going to get our NPV of what? My NPV, therefore, would be my answer minus 8,000. Molimu is getting an NPV of negative 152.92. Kindly, I need you guys to confirm with what you are getting. I need you to confirm with what you are getting. I need to confirm with what you are getting. Mm -hmm. If at all, 
we are all arriving at the same value, then we determine our IRR. So our IRR at this point, what will we be having? Our IRR, we should be talking of IRR to be equal to the lower rate, the lower rate which was 9%. We add NPV of the lower rate, which is 977.68. We divide by the difference in our NPV. So we take 70. Uh, the difference in our NPV, we take 977. 0.68 minus minus 152.92. All of this we multiply by our higher rate, which is 15, minus lower rate, which is 9. So, what will we be having as our IRR? What will we be having as our IRR? So in that case, you can agree that my IRR would be, that is uh, 977.68 minus minus, that should give us plus 152.92. So 977.68 divided by answer times, of course, 15 minus 9 to give us, of course, 5, 5 plus 9. In this case, uh, Molimu is getting... 14.18%. So our IRR, we should be talking of 14.18%. See? So that is uh, what you are required to do. And of course, in this case, we can check that uh, it was giving us our positive NPV in that context. And by the fact that it is giving us our positive NPV, then, of course, the company can invest on the project. So this was uh, question number five, which was our last question, of course, in our model paper number two. This was the last question in our model paper number two, which it helped us to cover almost the whole concept of capital budgeting, IRR, uh, NPV, as well as uh, we've gone back to the concept of uh, capital structure, where we talked about what? WCC. So it is a very good question to revise with. Uh, remember, if I told you you've not access at uh, the first part, you can always get this on our application. If I told you watching this video via YouTube, you can get all this, of course, in our application. So that point, guys, thank you so much. We meet in our next segment, whereby we'll be discussing, of course, other tricks of how to pass financial management. Because I believe with uh, these three model papers, you guys, you are sorted. With these three model papers, 15 good questions that we've done. You guys, you are sorted. So that point, thank you so much. Bye-bye.